What's up guys and what an amazing year. 2019 was indeed a great year for tech. We saw the birth of foldable phones, punch hole displays, crazy zoom camera setups and night mode awesomeness. But what's about to come next will be even more exciting. Now before we start the video, a quick word from sponsor of today's video, Alpine Bear. Alpine Bear is a company that makes some amazing high quality products including outdoor gears and tech bags. They've got a wide range of collection and what I particularly really like about them is that they are super affordable. I recently had a big northern trip and to make my life easier they sent me a collection of their best suitable products. First up was the bird nest backpack that had more space than any of the backpacks that I had before while being pretty small. It was super easy to carry around. I absolutely love their tech pouches. I always have so many little accessories with me like airpods and bunch of cables and power banks. So thanks to Alpine Bear's tech pouches I was able to sort them out efficiently without losing anything and because these pouches are so small traveling with them or hiking with them or even putting them in your pocket is really easy. I also got their special vlogging edition bag which they specifically made for vloggers. On the inside it had a pretty decent space but what's exciting was the elastic fabric which allowed me to put stuff like camera lenses and extra phones and even the camera itself while keeping them in one place pretty safely. All in all these products were amazing. I tried it. I loved it. If you guys are interested be sure to check out Alpine Bear. Links will be down below in the description. Alright, back to the video, starting off with the 2020 iPhones. We can't talk about the upcoming 2020 phones without the mention of the Apple iPhones. It's been only a few weeks since iPhone 11's launch and we're already getting leaks about the upcoming iPhones. The next year models will have a major redesign. Popular leakster Ben Gaskin has leaked an alleged prototype design of the 2020 iPhone with a 6.7 inch full screen display. True depth camera system and face ID sensor are placed in a minimal top bezel. Obviously this is a render so the actual product might have a bit thicker bezel. Realistically I don't think it's gonna be situated in that thin bezel but it will have a better design compared to what we have right now. One thing for sure is that Apple is aiming to kill the notch once and for all. The 2017 design will finally be put to the rest. Now once again this is an early prototype. Apple could go with the punch hole design we don't know about that one thing confirmed big design change is about to happen now according to ice universe apple is in talks with samsung and lg for a 120 hertz pro motion amoled display Apple might be jumping on the higher refresh bandwagon with next year's iPhone. Considering the success of the OnePlus 7 family, both Apple and Samsung will be aiming for higher refresh rate displays next year. So other leaks also point to a built-in 5G support across all the iPhone models. And finally, a switch to a USB Type-C port. Along with all of this, Apple could also bring the Touch ID back with implementation of a 3D fingerprint scanner. Now other than the iPhone models, Apple has also plans for a full the ball iPad. We recently saw a design patent. It looks interesting but most likely this will not gonna happen next year so foldable iPhones or foldable iPads might come in 2021. Next up we have Samsung Galaxy S11. Now Samsung is going all in with the Galaxy S11. We have talked about so many things already and the thing that comes up on top is the camera. Samsung will finally be increasing the camera sensor size that has been the same since the Galaxy S7 so it's truly going to be a generation camera upgrade. Some latest news from Korea says that Samsung could use its 108 megapixel sensor along with a 5x optical zoom. Other than the camera with Galaxy S11, Samsung will finally bump the refresh rate from 60 to 90 or even 120 hertz. Again, this is going to be on an AMOLED display and Samsung is known for making the best AMOLED displays in the market. As per latest leak, Samsung will be making a massive improvement to its in-display fingerprint scanner. According to the source, the scanning area will get considerably larger from 36 square millimeter on the S10 to 64 square millimeter on the S11. iSenius further said that Samsung is also developing a neural processing AI engine for photos which will work sort of like Apple's Deep Fusion. It works by capturing a burst of images, combining them to produce a single image with the crispiest pixel. And that's all going to be done through the AI processor. There will be some huge improvement to the night mode. All in all, the camera 
along with the display refresh rate will be one of the biggest changes with the Galaxy S11 family. At number 3 we have Galaxy Fold 2. Now it's been known for a while that Samsung is working hard on the next generation of Galaxy Fold device. The original Galaxy Fold had some issues in the start but now it is shipping. Samsung has fixed a lot of things and right now there is no known report of any incident happening so Samsung is pretty confident in moving towards the next generation of Galaxy Fold which is said to have a 8 inch display, an integrated 5G modem, a bigger battery along with a camera setup similar to the Galaxy S11 family and most importantly Samsung will be upgrading the design even further improving the durability and launching this particular version worldwide. Unlike the Galaxy Fold this will be widely available in all the different markets just like the Galaxy S and the Note flagship. According to one rumor the next generation of Galaxy Fold could also have the support for the S Pen so other than the Galaxy Fold 2 Samsung will be releasing a Galaxy W20 5G phone in China. It's said to be their next foldable phone. It will be based on a traditional flip phone design. Rumor says that it could pack a 6.7 inch foldable display with another skin on the rear for when the device is flipped closed. Galaxy W series will again be exclusive to China but the Fold 2 is definitely the next big thing. Speaking of Galaxy Fold 2, we have its arch rival the Mate X the second generation. Huawei's R&D department is also hard at work at their next gen foldable phone the mate x2 rough designs by let's go digital shows the stylus being housed in the usb type c port color design cues also look more refined and the whole device seems a lot thinner as well as for the release date the mate x2 is expected to get launched in q4 of 2020 regardless of what happens with us huawei is going strong in china the mate 30 already has above a million sales according to huawei so if they launch the mate x2 in China I think it's going to be a pretty good deal. Now next on the list is a phone that is equally exciting as a foldable phone. This is the only product on this list that has been officially announced and that is the Xiaomi Mi Mix Alpha 5G. It's something we have never seen before. The Mi Mix Alpha 5G packs a surround display which wraps around the whole phone resulting in a whopping 180.6% screen to body ratio. Other than that it is going to have an all latest and greatest specs of this generation including a 108 megapixel camera sensor powered by Samsung. It will be Xiaomi's most expensive phone ever coming in at $3,000. The Mi Mix Alpha will get launched in December 2019 and it will get start shipping in the early 2020 in limited numbers. According to one source, Xiaomi has only made about 500 units of this so it's gonna be a super rare phone to have so. Now last but not the least we have the Huawei P40 Pro. Guys, once again, whatever happens with US, Huawei is not going anywhere. At least they have a strong sales growth in China, which will help them to release the P40 family. So it's coming in 2020. Rumors suggest that Huawei will be ditching the notch and opting for a punch hole OLED design. It will be Huawei's first phone to have a OLED hole punch display, similar to the Galaxy S10 family. And along with that, they will be bringing a much more refined version of the waterfall display. The Huawei Mate 30 Pro has a waterfall display but because of that notch, it's not giving the Note 10 Plus any challenge when it comes to the looks. The Note 10 Plus still feels like the best phone of 2019 when it comes to the looks and the premiumness but Huawei can turn things around with a hole punch OLED display along with a waterfall screen. Huawei will also be bringing the Kirin 1000 chipset which is going to be based on 5 nanometer process. It's gonna be one of the first chipset for mobile world to come with a 5 nanometer process and the Mate 40 Pro is said to be the phone to have this chipset. Again that is so far away but P40 Pro will be super exciting because of its big design change as well as some new camera improvements. So that's that's all we have for 2020. This is what's gonna happen according to the current leaks and rumors. Next year will be super exciting. We'll see more and more crazy devices. These are just some of the scoops we have. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and if you don't know already I'm giving away an iPhone 11 Pro. If you guys want to enter be sure to check the link in the description. With that being said I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.